Hi, my name is Greg Knox. I'm the Executive Director of Skeena Wild Conservation Trust. And this video, is, I'm going to be discussing the current situation with Skeena steelhead returns. Uh, and it's currently July 26, so late July 2023. And we're seeing some pretty serious uh, uh, information coming at us about the returns. The information I will be discussing comes from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans. Uh, the Alaskan Department of Fish and Game, and the provincial government who is responsible for, for managing steelhead. So this year's situation is we're currently seeing one of the lowest returns on record, and this is estimated at the Tai Test Fishery at the mouth of the Skeena. Uh, it's been in operation for 68 years, and this year's return so far is dismal. Um, it's even worse than 2021, which saw a return of less than 6,000 steelhead into the Skeena. We're currently tracking to about 4,000 steelhead. And this is half of the extreme conservation goal that was set by the province for, for Skeena steelhead. So that's 8,000 fish. And so there's a variety of fisheries currently taking place at the mouth of the river, commercial fisheries, which are, are, are uh, quite aggressive this year. We're seeing them fish now uh, seven days a week between gillnet seine and gillnet demonstration fisheries. And impacts from these fisheries can be substantial on steelhead, which have to be released, mandatory. Um, but uh, when you look at methods like gillnets, which are one of the dominant methods used, uh, they traditionally have about a 60% mortality rate on steelhead being released. They are using short net short sets this year, which means uh, half length nets, 20 minute soak times, uh, but those release mortality rates are still around 40%, which is, so a lot of those fish are dying that are released from those fisheries. Uh, for seine fisheries, uh, they have about a 20% mortality rate on released steelhead and uh, so these fisheries, the gillnet fishery is supposed to be open until August 8th, which is concerning because uh, the midpoint run timing for skiing and steelhead is August 6th. So they will be impacting more than half of the run. And then for seine fisheries, because we have a fairly strong pink return this year, they can continue well into August and continue to impact skiing and steelhead returning over the peak of the run. Uh, of course, there's also impacts from food fisheries, uh, a lot of which use gill nets, and so those same high mortality rates on, on steelhead, and a lot of them are used for food, of course, too. Uh, and then, of course, we have sport fishing taking place in the Skeena sockeye fishery right now, and uh, they intercept steelhead as well, which have, have uh, uh, impacts 4.5% roughly of short-term mortality rates and longer higher term mortality rates as well. And then uh, one of the major concerns we have is Southeast Alaska, which has been hitting our salmon really hard in the last several years. And for Skeena steelhead, they, you know, they basically kill about 10 to 30% of Skeena steelhead return every year. And they're catching a lot of pink and chum this year up there, just north of the border, north of Prince Rupert. And uh, likely having a big impact on our steelhead. And then on top of this, we have some concerning environmental conditions, uh, really low flows. A lot of the systems in the Skeena are at historic lows in terms of water uh, and warmer than average temperatures. So some rain and that in the forecast, cooler temperatures may help that, but something we need to keep an eye on. So of course the implications of this is uh, simply not enough spawners. And this undermines future returns of Skeena steelhead. Uh, and then of course, uh, it impacts upriver communities and, and sport fishing as well if they, if they have to close it due to uh, due the really low returns. So who's responsible for this? Well, the provincial government is responsible for managing steelhead and Nathan Cullen, the Minister of Land, Water, Natural Resource Stewardship is responsible for managing steelhead. And he's also the uh, provincial uh, MLA for, for the Smithers and uh, uh, Kispiox Hazelton areas. Uh, so 
he's responsible. And of course, DFO is responsible because they open these commercial fisheries at the mouth of the Skeena River and they open salmon fisheries, et cetera, for sport fishing. And so they're also responsible. And the managers out of Prince Rupert are making these decisions as well as the managers out of Vancouver. And both the province, so Minister Nathan Cullen and the Minister of Department of Fisheries and Oceans, they're also responsible for dealing with Alaskan interception at the Pacific Salmon Treaty. So these are the people, if you're concerned about the situation, you need to talk to. And specifically Nathan Cullen, Minister of Waterland Resource Stewardship, and uh, the DFO managers and the minister. And we'll be providing that information. We'll be providing links so you can contact those people if, if you so choose, uh, because the situation is really concerning and uh, they need to take action right now. If they wait a few weeks, uh, those commercial fisheries at the mouth of the Skeena and other fisheries could have significant impacts on a really poor return to steelhead, which undermines our ability to both uh, benefit from those fish, but also, of course, ensure that there's enough spawners for the future. So if you have any questions, please contact us at info at skeenawild.org, and we will be putting out future videos uh, to update the situation. Thank you.